you know, I, you look so familiar to me now that I'm, I just like caught you. I just, did I fuck you? Because... No? You know how you forget? You know how you just like forget? I've run into ex-boyfriends. I, I had an ex-boyfriend, I ran into him, I lived with the guy for four years. I could not remember a thing about the relationship. I'm standing there talking to him thinking, the only thing that I could remember about the entire four years we were together was every night in bed doing this. What are you doing? It's the only thing that's stuck in my mind. <laughs> Let me look. No. If I did, it was a while ago, because I'm in a celibate phase. Did you ever go through one of those? Well, maybe. You did? Yeah. It's the 90s. You know, sex is scary, because you could die, but worse than that, you could feel. But um, <laughs> I'm going to start a Celibates Anonymous, because that's, that's the 90s thing. Everybody's in these codependents. You notice this? A friend of mine told me the other day she's going to a meeting. I said, what for? She said, children who grew up without cable television in the house. <laughs> They're getting desperate. A guy I know is in a men's group. You know, single heterosexual men who harbor no hostility towards women. I said, what is there, one member? <laughs> no, because my cousin Judy is always in these, like, singles, these Jewish singles things. You know what I'm talking about? She's one of these types. She's a Zionist. Do you know this type? Like, she's very, very involved and active, and she's always calling me up with seminars, and she's always doing Israeli folk dancing in Central Park on Sundays, and uh, she'll call me up, Hi, Susie, it's Judy. And her voice is like a cross between Kermit and Julia Child, you know? <laughs> Hi, Susie. It's Judy. Uh, I'm doing a seminar now on, um, sponsored by the Jewish Women's Resource Center and the Jewish Historical Archives on 20th century Zionism and Jews who studied at a kibbutz in their senior year and Jew and Jew and Jew, 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 Jew. She's like the queen of the Jews, Judy. She's the Jewess to end all Jewesses. Now, she's very active and involved, but you don't have to be Jewish to be this kind of very involved woman, because they're all over the country. They can't get laid till they're involved. But, you know, the type. And she's always calling me up with, like, her, her, her drive. We're doing a canned goods drive now for homeless Jews. There's four of them, but they're very well fed. Very, very well fed. Very. And then every now and then she'll break into song. Zoom, golly, 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 zoom, golly, golly. She'll just break into these Hebrew songs. Zoom, golly, golly, golly. She's always coming in the house doing that Israeli folk dance run. You know that run? It's like... <laughs> and then her brother, her brother is like, uh, Teddy, he's like, one of, you know these like wind chill factor guys? You know these kinds of guys who know everything? He's like, you know, uh, it's, not, it's not the cold, it's the wind chill factor. That's what really gets you. Sheesh, sheesh. That's what really gets a nip in the air, the wind chill. You know, down here in Miami, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. That's the thing that really... <laughs> he knows everything, a little facts. He'll, he'll be playing Jeopardy. Uh, who is Vasco da Gama? You know, he was some terrific explorer, that Vasco. He had boats and canoes, and he, was, he wasn't just a real... <laughs> I always get stuck sitting next to him at Thanksgiving. Every year we have the same conversation. Every year he says to me, yeah, turkey's really terrific this year. Last year it was dry and disgusting, but this year it's moist and succulent and delicious. They must have used that butter ball. You know, that butter ball is not just a regular turkey. Oh, no, they inject it with things, and they got all sorts of chemicals and things to make it juicy and succulent and delicious. And... <laughs> <laughs> that Judy's boy crazy. She's boy crazy, that Judy. Judy had two boyfriends. Teddy's always trying to fix her up there. She had two boyfriends. One was an African-American radical activist. His name was Mustafa Muhammad Abdul. And he was always giving, she's doing her Zionist rap, and he's giving like the radical rap. You know, he was always saying things like, uh, if you're looking at the basic superficial coherency of the elements of the permutations of the cystic fibrosis of society, you see that in a historical perspective, the epistemology of incremental change in society as a whole and in and of itself, the implementation of the Bush quail economic system is systematically and methodologically oppressing the black community and whatnot. 